So are you in for some shopping in 2024? Today I will present you my top four favorite stocks for the year on the US side. All dividend growers, all companies with a strong dividend triangle, everything to get you excited to get that money that is sitting on the sideline and finally invest in 2024. So this week I've been pulling out videos every single day to help people that have money on their sideline. So you may be hesitant, you may fear a market crash, and then you're waiting on the sideline, getting that 5% uh, interest rate on your, your high saving interest account. But what if you could put that money to work and buy amazing companies for several years? So of course, those are just ideas. It's just to get you started. You need to do more due diligence and making sure that they would be a good fit in your portfolio. But the idea here was to present you a few of the companies that shows very strong dividend triangle that should do well in the future and that are on my personal buy list right now. Um, some stocks that I own, some stocks that I'm just watching. Dividend Gold Investors, bonjour, my name is Mike Yehu and I'm the founder of Dividend Stocks Rock and I'm also the author of this YouTube channel to help you invest with more conviction so you can enjoy your retirement. Before we get to those uh, four companies, I wanna let you know that I will be hosting a webinar, a free webinar next week on January 10th to start the year on the right foot. So we're gonna do a market review we're gonna talk about sectors some more stock picking ideas and we're gonna talk about the bet the most important themes in 2024 and how you can shape your portfolio so step-by-step -step tools um, strategies that you can use on your portfolio to make sure that you are well invested right now and that you will have a nice year on the market so let's get started with number one automatic data processing ADP uh, largest payroll company in the world. Uh, it's very sticky business because you don't change your payroll provider that often, right? As you can see on this graph, the revenues, the earnings, and the dividend keeps increasing, but the stock price pretty much went like sideways since the beginning of 2022. And this is where I think there may be an interesting uh, opportunities for those who have this company for the long term. Being the industry leader, it gains you some economies of scale and gives you also a lot of power to get feedback from your clients and then find better ways to serve them. So cross-selling opportunities, introduction of AI, there are a lot of things that they can do to grow their business. As you can see, they expect to grow their earnings per share by another 10 to 12% this year so it should be more than enough actually to keep that 48 consecutive years of dividend growth streak up to 49 in 2024. So this is one of the most important part where I am about to select a company, especially when I feel that there's some hesitation on the market, I'm not too sure if the market's gonna go well or not. Well then what I do is I focus on high quality income companies. ADP fits the bill. It has went through multiple recession in the past. And I know that even if 24 is not a good year, that company will survive and will eventually thrive. Moving on to the next one, Home Depot, ticker HD. This one I added to my portfolio at the beginning of 2023, uh, mostly because the stock price was already down since 2022. Um, the perspective with higher interest rates that should slow down the housing starts and obviously Home Depot depends on construction and renovation. So when you take out new construction already, um, obviously you're going to continue to do business with your own renovation, but it's not going to push the business to another level. And this is what we see on the dividend triangle where it was very strong before, but then starting in 2022 and then 2023, we see that we kind of reach a plateau and now it's like slowing down a little bit. And this is what I was expecting. So the stock price, the stock was already priced for that. And now that we have good news about interest rate, maybe we're going to see a bull run for Home Depot, but I think that it, this is a good timing where you're not too sure about buying a stock that has a low yield but great potential. When, it, when it's been a year or two that the stock price is stagnating, this opens some doors. One thing I love the most about 
Home Depot is that it's the largest home improvement retailer in the world and it has a strong bond with Pro Contractor. The thing is they have so many different stores and within those stores they have everything Pro Contractor needs so when they are on the job they just need to get on the car drive like five minutes away get what they need at Home Depot and get back to get the job done as soon as possible. This is one of the biggest strain that Home Depot has and it has been doing very well in the past few years again it will be cyclical it will depend on the economy but similar to ADP the reason why I add HD last year to my portfolio and I still think it's going to do well in 24 is when I'm thinking for the next 10 years this leader will continue to thrive and will continue to do what it does best the next one on my list is actually a big regret because I used to have McDonald's in my portfolio but that was a long time ago around like 2013 or 2014 and back then they struggled to find ways to grow they didn't even have like all day breakfast type of things they went with like those gourmet burgers like table service that didn't do well and I ended up decided to sell the stock and move on I made a profit, but I could have made a lot more if I would have kept those shares for the past 10 years. So today, McDonald's on my list, mostly because I can see that the dividend triangle is now shaping again. We see that revenues are growing, earnings per share are growing, and obviously the dividend is going up all the time as well. What I'm the most excited about McDonald's is their plan for growth in the coming years. They plan to open more than 10,000 restaurants, going from 40,000 to 50,000 in a very fast pace. Actually, it's the most ambitious growth plan that they have in ages, so it's going to be very interesting to see how it develops. They also count on a lot of technology and digital apps, so they want to have people ordering on their phone so they get more information, it, like the transaction runs seamlessly, and it's easier for McDonald's to actually find the best practice and open that. This is with their new uh, department that is called Global Business Services, where they will look at what works best for McDonald's and will try to replicate that playbook across the globe. The company has a huge scale because of its presence across the world. And the other thing that I really like is if we ever go into a recession, People will need those like small treat to feel better and there's nothing better than a happy meal or than a value meal to go to the McDonald's. So I think it will continue to do well in 24 for that reason. So the last one on my list is United Healthcare Group, U. And H. Uh, this one shows a similar profile to ADP even though they're both in two different sectors. When you look at the dividend triangle you see that revenues and earnings are growing or dividend per share dividend growth as well but the stock price has been kind of like going sideways not going up that much since 2022. So I think it creates a better opportunity because it's always hard to pull the trigger when you look high quality companies that have been thriving for so long, you always think, well, at one point, they're probably going to slow down. They're probably going to stop being that amazing darling. And I don't want to be cut out to be the one holding the bag, right? And this is a topic that we will talk about in, in my next webinar about how to invest in 2024 next week. So again, link in description below, super important. What I love most about United Healthcare is how they have built that company, which is vertically integrated. So it's a one-stop shop where they provide the entrance business, they manage it for, for uh, employers, and then they provide the healthcare. So they have this amazing way to always find a place where they can expand their margin, they can adapt, because I know that Medicare laws are always changing and regulations always changing in the US. So United Healthcare has proven it's able to adapt its business and always find a place to grow more. So going from providing the entrance all the way down to providing this, the, the care, they have each step covered and this what makes this company so great and that also ensures some growth potential for the future. So, all right, so that completes the video about my four favorite stocks in the US market. Yesterday I discussed four companies, I, uh, companies ideas on the Canadian one, but I know that once you get like a bunch of stocks on your list, you may be excited, but still it's probably not enough to pull the trigger and move that money away from a GIC or a high savings account into equities. So tomorrow we're going to look at how you could shape your portfolio. We're going to discuss a little bit more about 
sector allocation, about the portfolio, the dividend perspective, and how you can actually start getting into action. And for the last video, we're gonna talk about the timing of investing that money. So make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification on to not miss the last two videos that will happen tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. All right, guys, we will see you again tomorrow. And until then, don't forget to stay invested.